everybody, this is Valentina from The Real Italian Kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make strawberries with burnt cream which would be like strawberries with a creme brulee on top which in Italian we call fragole con la crema bruciata So good here are the ingredients, 3 egg yolks, 3 tablespoons of cane sugar plus some more for later, 1.5 teaspoon of rice flour or all-purpose flour, half a cup heavy cream, 1 cup vanilla, 1 cup milk, some vanilla sticks, 1 non-stick pot, 2 bowls, your culinary torch, whisk and spoons. The first thing we're going to do is whip the egg yolks with the sugar, 3 tablespoons of sugar. Whip it until the egg turns a whitish color. Add the one and a half tablespoon of your flour of choice. You can use all-purpose flour, rice flour, or you can also use potato starch or cornstarch. You're gonna get a pancake-like consistency. Put everything in your nonstick pot and remember not to whisk directly in the nonstick pot because it will scratch the coating. Turn the stove on, start stirring it with one hand and with the other start adding little by little the cup of milk. Stir, 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 throw the vanilla in and keep stirring until magic happens, the milk reduces and our custard is finally formed and thickened. Once it's ready, transfer directly to the bowl and let it cool down. Cover it with some surround wrap and put the surround wrap at contact with the custard so that it's not going to create a film on top of the custard. And we're going to put it in the fridge and let it cool for about 30 minutes. Now we're whipping the heavy cream. Half a cup of cream, a little bit of sugar, not too much because there was already enough in the custard. And we're going to whip it until it's hard but not too hard. Beautiful, just like that. We're gonna cover it with surround wrap as well and put it in the fridge. While we wait for everything to cool down, we can start preparing our strawberries. I wash them, I'm gonna cut them in quarters and look at these amazing strawberries that I found. They're gonna be so sweet. And now we wait. Our custard and our Whipped cream are finally cooled down and we're gonna mix one into the other. This is tepid, it's not cold yet, which means that we can eat it right away. I let it cool cooled for about an hour and I have to take out the, the vanilla bean. Yum, 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 tastes delicious. So we mix it well, and there it is. This is, this is our Chantilly custard, which is an egg custard mixed with heavy cream. And mine is a little gritty because I used the brown rice flour instead of potato starch or corn starch or all-purpose flour. It's time to use the culinary torch, and I'm so excited to finally own my own. I've used one before in my parents' restaurant, but I've never actually had one for home. It's great. Okay, so we're gonna put a spoonful of custard, or maybe several spoonful of custard, and you wanna try to cover the strawberries. So two spoonful for me were enough. Remember to keep the portions contained because this is a dessert that is particularly sweet and you don't wanna nauseate your guests with too much sugar or a portion that's too big for them to finish. You want to leave them wanting more. The sugar on top. 
And we're going to do them one at a time because I really want to make sure to do it right. Because otherwise the custard is going to absorb the sugar and we don't want that. And now I'm going to use my expert flame torch. I'm going to flip it to on. I'm going to turn it open. And I'm going to start the flame first. And then turn it down. And then aim it at the sugar. And try to keep yourself away from the glass because it's glass and it might break. This is thick glass, so I'm risking a lot less. You could use Pyrex glass, you would risk zero with that. Or you could do uh, ramekin, but I really wanted to see the strawberry, so I, w I really like the clear container. Oh, and you can let go of the trigger. Nice feature of this culinary torch. I have to say, this takes a little bit of practice, I can tell, because I haven't done this in a while, and I used to be better at it. <laughs> There we go. This technique works very well. I'll approach it and then far away. See, the second one that I made was way better than the first one already. It's just a matter of practice. To finish it up, you can make it look like a flower. And we're going to do it by cutting each half of the strawberry in thirds. Oh, look how cute it is! If you want to make it look super professional, you can also add a dusting of powdered sugar. All right, and we're gonna try one. I'm gonna try the first one I made. I'm gonna save the good one for my husband, Louie, because I love him. Yay, this is the sound you want out of your creme brulee. The Oh my god, I hadn't had this in so long because I'm trying to cut back on sugars, but this is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna eat both of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so good. Well, thank you for following The Real Italian Kitchen. I hope I've inspired you to invest in a culinary torch because this dessert knocks the ball out of the park. Is that how you say it in, in the United States? <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Ciao, ciao.